couldn't have said it better myself. The ante has officially been raised. Some powerful words by Otomo Shibata, our Joker's invite champion. What does he have in his mind? What is he thinking? What does he plan on doing? And what a great way to start us off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first I'm match is a 1v1 false count one. anywhere as it it's pits Annabella against our Joker's invite Next. women's we champion, Christina Cole. Bets are alive to place your Ooh, bets, estimation bet space, zero for Annabella or one for Christina Cole. Then there's space that amount you bet enters from one to a thousand Jokers. And to check your Jokers is exclamation Jokers. Now, this is a non-title match. But if Annabella can pull off the upset, you got to think she might be in the running for a title shot further down the line. Making her way down to the ring. She hails from your darkest fears. She is Anna Bella. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring. The stipulation here, guys. From your darkest fears. Is that darkest can literally fears. take place anywhere Anna within this arena. Bell. I hope these superstars are ready for what they're about to go through. These Falls Count Anywhere matches can turn brutal in an instant. Making her way down to uh, the ring. She hails from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She is your Joker's Invite Women's Champion. She is Christina Cole. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the Women's Champion. Christina Cole, Champion. And guys, the champ comes in tonight looking to be an incredible You still have a minute and a half to place your bets. And considering the title is not on the line tonight, you have to give her credit. She clearly put extra hours in at the gym, despite being in a relatively low-risk situation, so to speak. Remember, Lisa, the title is not on the line. However, you got to think. If Annabelle pulls off the upset, she might be buying for a championship that later down the line. And speaking of championships, our first pay-per-view of the year will be Money in the Bank. And it will be a couple weeks from today.
The bell rings in, the match is underway, and Annabella goes right on top of Christina. Has control of the wrist. I think Christina's trying to take her down, but Annabella stopped her in her tracks. And Annabella drops the elbow across her elbow. Christina grabs Annabelle, whips her into the turnbuckles with authority. Annabelle bounces back. Christina picks her up. Oh, what a face bust onto the mat. Followed by a kick to the rib cage. Oh, and a headbutt. Oh, no, I think Annabella stopped it. Annabelle grabs Christina Cole and is biting her she nose, the bridge of her nose. She just bit it. That is one crazy SOB. Christina grabs Annabelle by the wrist with the Russian legs and takes her down. And now Christina is playing to the crowd. Not a wise move as Annabelle is starting to get back up to her feet. Annabelle grabs Christina from behind. Oh, and suplexes her down. Annabelle with the kick to the upper back of Christina. And another kick. And that forced Christina to roll out. Followed by a stomp to the lower back. Annabelle picks Christina back up. All the way up to a vertical base. Grabs her, whips her over the top rope onto the apron. Oh, what a massive right. However, Christine did not fall, but Annabelle's going to pull her to the first and second rope, and what a DDT through the ropes. And now Annabelle going for the pin. We got a one, and Christina kicked out right at one. I thought it was too early. Christina takes her down with the arm drag, followed by a kick to the ribs, grabs her, Tosses her onto the middle rope, but what has she got in store here? Oh, what a Bronco Buster. Oh, and an elbow to the face of Annabella. She picks Annabella up, puts her on her shoulder, and drops her face first on that top turnbuckle. Christina's starting to mount an offense here. Goes for the quick pin, the ref counts to one, and Annabella kicks out at one. Also, speaking of championship, we do have one, maybe two championship matches tonight. Guys, the most important thing for Welcome, Wild Starfish. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Joke Days Innovation. Welcome to Joker's Den. And Annabella is calling to, I guess, whoever she believes in. And what a massive forearm to the upper back of Christina. Christina grabs Annabella, whips her over the top rope onto the apron. And drops her down all the way to the concrete floor. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a thin padded mat that protects these competitors from the concrete floor underneath. It does not offer much protection, if any at all. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not followed Mr. Starfish, make sure you give him a follow. He puts on, a, a, what he does is he actually does a lot of web shows on top of, um, like, he, he does his own music. He has his own YouTube channel. So make sure you give him a follow. What is up, brought it out. Thank you for tuning in. Your character will be competing tonight, just so you know. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Look at her go. Ladies and gentlemen, also make sure you get brought it out a foul. He has a couple okay, characters here on this show. And it's good to see you too, Starfish. I tuned into your show for a little bit last night. Oh, and Annabella went for something. Oh, knees to the face. Yeah, I tuned into your web show a little bit last night, Mr. Starfish. She got it. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Annabella goes for the pin. We got a one. We got a two. And Christina kicks out at two. Remember, this is a non-title match. Christina is not defending her title She's in this match, but Annabelle shot. could have a future title shot down the line if she pulls off the upset. And Annabelle with the kick to the gut into, what is she going for, the power bomb? No, she does not go for the power bomb. Looking for what is she going for here? Oh my God, what a face buster. Annabelle turns Christina over, goes for the pin. The ref counts a one, the ref counts a two, and Annabella pulls off the upset. Let's take a look at the highlights. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic.
I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. When any and you gotta think, what is the mindset of Christina after being defeated by Annabella? Leslie, the title is not on line, or else we would have a new champion really right now. Some great stuff. From the opening bell, this match Starfish, are you still part the of the real Unreal team? Speechless. It's oh. been a while since I've tuned in any of in any of y'all's streams. Been busy with the newborn. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a while since I Oh my god, what do we got here? We got a newcomer going after Annabelle. What the hell? I didn't expect this. What is this? Alex? I think her name is Alex Watson. I, I think. I think that's her name. She's she's from Sydney, Australia. She's turning the tables. Oh my god, Annabelle's taking it back too. What's her name? Alex? Alex is her name, yeah. Oh my God, Annabelle takes it to Alex as Alex tries running in. Oh my God, Annabelle is taking it too. Oh, I think Alex is second guessing her run in here. What is going on? This newcomer to Joker's invite just out of nowhere, out of nowhere just comes and attacks Annabella. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Oh, and Annabelle takes Alex down. Oh my God, what is going to happen between these two future down the line? Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this 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 girl in the purple and black, she's she's a newcomer, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, her name is Alex Watson, and oh my gosh, she took it to Annabella. I did not expect that. Holy hell! Oh my God, I don't know what's. You never know what's going to happen here on Joker's invite. We are now going to hear from our United States champion, A Kane. See what he has to say. Yeah, Starfish. Um, I yeah, when they rebranded, it kind of threw me for a loop because I they kind of like disbanded and then they rebranded. I don't know what happened. But yeah, I always support Icon and all of them, especially Icon. Icon's one of those that really, um, I mean, he found me. I didn't even find him. He found me. Yeah, brought it out, man. She's making a name for herself. All right, what does a cane have to say? Let's listen in. The belief is strong, loud and proud. Damn, A King calling out management. That is never a wise decision. Just look at all the past superstars who've reached out to management. He's talking about opportunities. He's the United States champion. What kind of opportunity does he want? Oh, he's threatening to go against the whole entire roster. He's calling out the champion. He, uh, he must be talking to Optimo, who spoke earlier today. Like I said, it's never a wise move to call out management. But not only did he call out management, he called out the champion as well. Will the champion respond or will management respond? We'll find out later on in this show, hopefully. See a lot of anger behind those words.
you can be any more clear than that. that makes me want to I don't know what's going to happen. AK put the whole roster on notice as well as management. Not a wise move by that young guy right there to call it management. We'll see if it affects him later on. The WWE. Our next match that we have in style or in store is a tag team extreme rules match as it pits Jay and Tyson Co. Evolution against Davey Richards and Adam Page. Bets are live to place your best estimation bet space is zero for Evolution or one for Davey and Adam. And then there's space amount of bet is from one to a thousand jokers. And to check your jokers, it's exclamation of jokers. Remember, you got to have jokers to place your bets. Welcome, Eddie Ford, 71, to Joke Jays Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. Also, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a 24-hour stream slash game coming up the first weekend of December. It starts 8 a.m. Saturday morning all the way to 8 a.m. Sunday morning. All right, Starfish, have a wonderful day, and thank you for tuning in. Now, these two teams are tag teams that the main roster needs to look out for. I've watched them in the indies, and oh my God, they can put on a show. Making their way down to uh, the ring. They are the team of Jay and Tyson Cole. They are Evolution. I just got word from the back that Alex Watson, that, that girl that came out and just demolished Annabelle after her match, actually has been put into a match. You will see firsthand the devastation Alex Watson can put on. Making his way down to uh, the ring. First, he hails from St. Louis, from Missouri. St. Louis Missouri. He is Davey Richard. Richard. Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people came to see tonight. And with good reason, Michael. This one's been brewing for quite some time. And his tag team partner, he hails he from New partner. York. He from is York, Adam Weighing in Page. 215 pounds, Adam Page. 
If this one lives up to the hype, Byron, we're in for an amazing match here tonight. There's no reason to think this one won't live up to the hype, Michael. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a two-on-two two and the ref is already knocked down. I'm going to do my best to affiliate Tyson and Jay to tell them apart. I mean, they are twins. They might pull off some twin magic here. But you got Adam Page taking it to one of the Coles, and the other Cole is being demolished by the other, or one of the other Coles is demolishing Davey. I, I don't know who's who between Jay and Tyson. There's really no nothing that kind of separates the two. The Coles are taking it to Davey and Adam as you see Adam being tossed out of the ring. One to Coles, hop up on top rope. He's waiting for Adam to get up to his uh, vertical base. He does, what does he have in store for him? He jumps off the top rope, oh, and takes him down with the elbow. But I don't think he got all of it. The other, Davey Richards has taken out the other code, now going underneath the ring looking for a toy. What toy is he going to introduce? He brings out a table. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, That's table has been old. introduced in this match. What could happen? As soon as he slides the table in, he gets taken to the turnbuckle called by a clothesline, which knocks him down. He almost fell on top of that table. The Coles are taking it to Davey and Adam right now. We got a pin. No, Davey kicks out at one. Adam has now been tossed back into the ring on top of that table. Oh, and Davey just take out a, took out a Cole with that elbow. And now Adam with the knee to the chest. And now Davey looks like he's going to introduce another toy into this match. What is he bringing out now? Brings out a chair. Ladies and gentlemen, this may as well turn into a TLC match. We got tables and we got chairs. All we need is ladders now. Davey takes out one to Cole, all the way out to the concrete floor. Goes back underneath the ring. What is he getting going for now? Oh, he gets a kendo stick. Man, Davey's just bringing all the toys out. As you can see, Adam just got suplexed off the top rope onto that table. He needs to create some space for himself. He wants to be successful here in this Tornado Tag Team match. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this time. Oh, with the switchblade takes him down. So I don't know which Cole is which. They're like twins here. I'm just going based off Cole. Oh, and Adam's taking it to the Cole inside the ring as Davies back up to a vertical base, grabs one of the other Coles, tosses him back into the ring. The Tornado Tag Team atmosphere appears to be getting the best of him here. Ad, or sorry, Davey has been, or no, Adam has been just spine busting down to the mat. Let's see how he reacts here. Davey's been taken down by the leg and has, gets dropped on his knee. And now we got a pin. The ref counts a one. The ref counts, no. Davey kicks out at one. The Coles have been manhandling Davey and Adam. Oh, and one of the Coles took out his brother. And Davey, once he goes to go back outside the ring, looks underneath the ring. What is he bringing out now? He brings out a baseball bat. We got a submission locked in the middle of the ring. Gets broken up. Davey gets tossed onto the middle rope. Oh, what a move by onto Davey. And now Adams being double teamed by both Coles. Oh, takes him down. It's over. And then a stomp to the back of the knee. Davey is outside the ring catching his composure. Adams being pinned. We got a one. We got a two. And the Coles win. Evolution wins. Let's take a look at the highlights. Let's take a little look at some of the...
That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. What a match, and Evolution shows why they belong on the main roster. Taking it to Davey and Adam. Like I said, these are two tag teams at the main roster, both teams that the main roster really need to be keeping an eye on. Welcome, Choppy Seeker 339 to Joke J's Innovations. Here Welcome to winners, Joker's And Tyson Cole Evolution. Another exciting tag team match in the books. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody. We got one on one action coming. Our next, next match we have a is a steel cage adversary. two out of three oh, falls wait. match as it pits Jacob Ace against Ghost. Bets are alive. Place your bet situation. Bet space zero for Jacob Ace, one for Ghost and Nurse Space. The amount you bet is from one to a thousand jokers. The 31, betting on Jacob Ace. Oh, yeah, you did bet on Ghost. My bad. Brought it out, bet it on Ghost as well. Making his way down to uh, the ring. He hails from Anchorage, Alaska. He is Jacob Ace. Making his way to the ring from Anchorage, Alaska. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Jacob Ace. Man, our pyro technicians need to be more careful where they set those fireworks off. Almost took out fans in our front row. Did you see that? Golly, I'm about to hire a new pyro technic. to say this match might just steal the show. The steel cage hanging ominously above the ring. This is a two out of three fall steel cage match between these two. Man, he's racking up my freaking py pyro bill. And if you notice, Jacob Ace's hat said, make wrestling violent again. This might be a violent match. Making his way down to the ring. He hails from Seattle, Washington. He is Ghost. Half the budget goes to him. 
A big fight yeah, pretty much. The arena right now for the steel cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, these videos are being uploaded to YouTube once the stream ends. So if you ever miss any of the matches, all you got to do is go to YouTube and you can search for them. I also post them in Discord, the links to them directly. The stay, or the cage has been lowered. Oh, and Ghost right away with the big boot takes Jacob Ace down. This is a two out of three falls match. So it will take two falls to a victor or submissions. And Jacob Ace picks Ghost up with the backbreaker across the knee. Jacob brings Ghost up to a vertical base. Tosses him into the turnbuckles. Oh, and what a move by Jacob on Ghost. Lays him out to the mat. And Jacob is just taking it to Ghost. Ghost came off strong, but Jacob answered back rather quickly. Oh, and Ghost with the reversal. There's a certain feeling that comes Ghost grabs Jacob, tosses him match. into the Once ropes, the door and drops below him, jumps well, over him, must know that their body is be and goes for his leg, but Jacob stops him and grabs his arm. The cage, and, and now has control of that wrist arm. with that wrist lock and then the elbow across the shoulder. Ghost was, oh, Ghost with the twist of fate. Followed by a uh, kick to the rib cage and another kick to the chest. And then a like forearm. Ghost is now mounting his offense back. And Jacob Ace quickly stops him, though. Endure. Oh, and Ghost reverses a massive right. For the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Cool. Jacob takes him down by the leg and, and then drops right on that knee. Something else we've seen over the years is interference. Ghost reverses, takes him down with the reversal. Into the stomp. Oh, and Jacob Ace with the schoolboy. We got a one. We got a two. And Ghost kicks out at two. Jacob brings Ghost back up to a vertical base. Grabs him, whips him into the turnbuckles. Oh, and what a clothesline takes him down. Followed by a massive forearm. Jacob grabs Ghost. Where's he taking him? Walks him over to the ropes. He's looking banged up here, guys. Grabs him. Snap bears him down. Oh, what a step up kick to the forehead. Stepped on the dude's shoulders and then kicked him right in the face. Jacob brings Ghost back up to vertical base. Ghost reverses, kicks him in the knee a few times, trying to level this man. Ghost puts him in a side headlock. Has control of the wrist, kicks him in the gut, into the DDT. Went for the stomp, but Jacob rode out of the way. Jacob grabs Ghost, turns him, or whips him into the turnbuckles, followed by a clothesline, knocks Ghost down. And what does Jacob have in store here? Oh, dead weight power bomb. Deadlift power bomb, I should say. Picks Ghost up to a vertical base, puts him in a side headlocks. Ghost reverses, knock, gets out of that. And then with the kick to the, I believe the chin, takes Jacob down. And then he stomps on the arm of Jacob. There is no escape in the cage. This is falls in submissions only. Ghost brings Jacob up to a vertical base. Oh, what a spear takes him down and Jacob's head bounces off the bottom rope. And Ghost says it's finished. He drags Jacob, stomps on him with the double knee, Moonsaw double knee smash. That's a fan favorite. And now he is lining Jacob up for something. Kicks him in the gut, puts him in the side headlock, picks him up. Oh my God, what kind of suplex was that? I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He goes for the pin. He goes for the cover. We got a one, we got a two. We got a three. Ghost gets the first pinfall of this two out of three. And then he goes quickly for the other pin. We got a one. We got a two. 
No. I could have sworn that would have been three. I could have sworn it was going to be three. But somehow Jacob got out of it before the ref's hand came down for three. And now he goes oh, what a bicycle kick takes Jacob down. In a major way, too. Ghost brings Jacob up to a vertical base once again. Whips him into the turnbuckles face first. Oh, and knocks him right in the lower back with the spear. Ghost grabs the leg and slams it. Matt, foot first down to the mat. Followed by a roundhouse, lays him out. Pin. We got a one. We got a two. No, Jacob kicks out at two. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And Ghost doing a little jig in the middle of the ring. And a spin -a rooney That could be not a wise move. But he continues the attack on Jacob. Ghost brings Jacob up to a vertical base. Oh, knee, knee, elbow, kick, kick. Takes him down. And now goes for the pin. Ref counts one. Ref counts two. Ref counts three. And Ghost is your winner. Dirty one in, brought it out, picked the winners. Oh boy, I can't believe that thing ended like that. Here's another look at a steel cage match for the ages. That was just Let's take a look at the highlights of this men match. Involved should just be proud to be a part of a legendary performance. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be for us. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here is your winner, the King, the Ghost. A well -earned victory and Ghost indeed. walks away, the when victor. You get a one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. And that'll do it here for this one hour. -on Live crowd appears to have enjoyed it. Our next match is a 1v1 Extreme Rules as it pits Cass against Ruby Azria. Place your bet, exclamation bet, space, zero for Cass, one for Ruby. Their nurse space, amount you bet enters from one to a thousand jokers. And then to check your jokers is exclamation jokers. Dirty one betting on Ruby. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been informed. A cane called out management. And management responds. A cane will be defending his U.S. title against a competitor of their choosing in a two out of three hell in a cell match. I told you it's never a good idea to call out management. Making her way down to the ring. She Making hails from New ring. York. She is Our known Lord. as Cass. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already Dirty trending. one, <laughs> you're not on the uh, developmental brand. You're on the main roster, so <laughs> that's a developmental brand title. <laughs> 
But don't. But you still have it. You will be. Actually, yesterday you didn't get a chance to defend your JJ Broncos champion because no competitor stepped up. So, hey, making her way down to uh, the ring, she and hails from, from Florida. Florida. She is the Ruby Azriel. Ruby just walking through the crowd. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like right? this is the Ruby shows no crowd. respect towards to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty was like, I like her. <laughs> Dirty one, I'll see if I can get her number for you. All right, this is a 1v1 Extreme Rules as it pits Kaz against Ruby. Bell rings in, the match is underway, and Kaz goes right away, taking it out to Mr. Headlock. Kaz fouls up with a roundhouse to the chest of Ruby. And another roundhouse to the face. Kaz obviously has a height advantage. Ruby takes it out to the Russian Lake Sweep. Followed by a massive roundhouse to the chest. And a close, or sorry, not a close line, a forearm to the upper back. And Kaz responds with some elbows of her own. Ruby went for an elbow. Kaz reverses into the running bulldog. Kaz brings Ruby up to a vertical base, kicks her right in the rib cage, and then takes it out the cross body. She did not go for the pin. I think the ref thought she was going to, because the ref was about ready to drop to do the pin. And Kaz is just taking it to Ruby. Now Kaz goes for the pin. The ref's right there. The ref counts to one. Ruby kicks out right at one. Oh, into the roundhouse to the upper back. Ruby reverses finally. Ruby trying to mount an offense here on Joker's invite. Kaz whips Ruby into the ropes. Oh, and Kaz jumps up and takes her down with her piranha there, followed by the roundhouse to the upper back. Crazy things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth, 2016, is a perfect example of that. And now Kaz is working on Ruby's arm, keeping her from doing her finisher. Now Kaz plays to the crowd. Kaz singling the end. We will soon find out. She picks Ruby up. What a backbreaker across the knee. Kaz goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. And Ruby kicks out right at one. Ruby is not done yet. She is a fighter. Kaz going to play to the crowd. Not a wise move. Ruby gets up, grabs her by the waist, brings her down with that German suplex. Followed by a stomp to the upper back. That could be Kaz's mistake. Ruby has control of the neck and head of Kaz. Drops her down onto the mat. Goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref, no. Kaz kicks out at one. Kaz made the rookie mistake of playing to the crowd too early, and with that, Ruby has taken the advantage. Ruby sets her up. Baseball drop kick to the spine. Followed by a roundhouse to the middle back. She grabs control of Kaz's arm, turns it in a very awkward position, and almost rips it out of the socket right there. Ruby climbs out of the ring. This is Extreme Rules. Will Ruby introduce a toy? Ruby goes underneath the ring. What does she bring out? Hammer, and she uses it, smashes it right in the gut of Kaz. And then tosses it out of the ring. Ruby only needed one hit for that. Kaz reverses, though. 
Oh, what a knife edge chop to the chest, Ruby by Kaz. Kaz takes her and puts her to set headlock, takes her down, single leg takedown, and then Hyper extends that same leg. Now Kaz is going to the corner. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's lining Ruby up for the knee to face. She goes for the pin. The ref counts a one. The ref counts a two, and Ruby kicks out at two. And Kaz cannot believe it. Typically, when she doesn't need a face, that puts her competitors down. Kaz brings Ruby up. Takes her by the hair, tosses her into the turnbuckles. And now Kaz is lining her up once again. Oh, for the, no, she went for the spear. Ruby reversed it into the DDT. Now Ruby is lining Kaz up. Kicks her in the gut, puts her in the side headlock, brings her up. Oh, and drops her right on her head. What a brain buster. She goes for the pin. The ref counts a one, the ref counts a two, and Ruby is your winner. Unreal performance. Let's take a look at highlights from that. Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. What is going on here? Kaz looks disappointed that she lost. And embarrassed. Kaz is walking away. She looks disappointed in herself. Kaz is a woman of high pride. Up next, I expect things to get completely out of control. This is going to be out of control. Our next match is a triple threat three-way elimination false count anywhere match. And welcome, Dirty. Yes, you tuned in just in time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not followed Dirty Little Hamster, make sure you give him a follow. He does a good E-Fed himself, which he's been having issues with for the universe. Uh, but he also plays games such as you see there, Grand Theft Auto V, as well as PUBG. Um, and I think he plays Fortnite, too. <laughs> had to, Dirty, had to. <laughs> Now, this pits Jessica Wolf against Akira against CJ O'Reilly. And bets are live to place your basketball bet space zero for Jessica Wolf, one for Akira, or two for CJ O'Reilly. Then in our space, I'm out you bet from one to a thousand jokers. And as always, to check your jokers is exclamation jokers, just like Dirty just did there. Dirty bet in the max on his character. Making her way down to uh, the ring. She hails from Perth, West Australia. She is Jessica Wolf. Man, we got bets all over the place. Making her way to the ring from Perth, Western Australia, Jessica Wool. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, after this, this show concludes, to get to this Dirty One will be defending match. his JJI Broadcast like Championship against the whoever is in chat at that time of that match, whose call I have.
Making her way down to the ring. She hails from Honolulu, Hawaii. She is Akira. Oh, there's entrance music, Dirty, but remember, uh, my computer did not was not powerful enough to hold the OBS system, so I have to do the old school of streaming um, until uh, I get a more powerful computer, which Lord knows when that will be, hopefully tax season. You know how WWE is with their music. Making her way down to the ring. She hails from Cardiff, Wales, England. She is CJ Riley. And from Cardiff, Wales, CJ Riley. Yeah, dirty, uh, dirty little hamster. I actually found a game in PC that I want to get at Best Buy. Um, I'm hoping maybe uh, it's still around when I get the money for it. Uh, I was talking to some of the P uh, workers at Best Buy, and they told me that that's that that PC is probably one of the better ones. It's not the more expensive one, but it's probably one of the better ones because it's easier to uh, build it the way you want. Um, it's already built to do what it needs to do, but if you want to add stuff to it, it's easier to do it. So it's probably the one I'm going to get, but, I mean, that's a good $800 that I don't have right now. So it's going to be a little bit before I get that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a three-way false count anywhere uh, elimination style match. The bell rings in. The match is underway. And Jessica right away takes it to CJ. Akira is going to stand in the corner. Jessica will not allow it as she kicks her in the knee. Akira reverses with the clothesline. Oh, and what an elbow to the back of CJ. And another elbow to the head. She grabs CJ. Looks like she's going for the revert. No, she does not. She just drops the elbow right across the back of the neck. Jessica turns her attention to Akira. CJ turns her attention to Akira. We got a double team on Akira temporarily as Jessica runs over to CJ. Goes the kicker. CJ reverses, takes her down. CJ is obviously the shorter competitor in this match. CJ going for the submission. The ref is right there. This is elimination style, so even if she gets the mission, she will not win. There will be one sole survivor. Oh, and CJ with the elbow to the knee takes her out by kicking her knee. Akira turns her attention on Jessica. CJ now attacks Akira. Akira reverses CJ. Picks her up. Oh, and what a belly to belly suplex takes her down. Akira with the forearm across the back of CJ. Then she turns her touch. Jessica puts her in a side headlock. Oh, and we got a double team on Jessica by Akira and CJ. What great teamwork, though it will be short-lived. As Akira right away with the right punch to CJ. CJ answers back to the elbow. Oh, and takes her down with the baseball dropkick to the knee. And then stomps on her arm. Drops the elbow across the back of the head. Jessica's back up to her feet. CJ turns around, grabs Jessica into the neck breaker. CJ realizes Akira's back up. Akira takes down the ref. I don't know why. And with a single leg drop kick, Jessica takes down CJ. Our ref is tough cookie, though. He's a tough cookie. Oh, and CJ with the uppercut to the back. Akira grabs CJ. Picks her up, slams her down. Wife got in the way. 
goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. Yeah, I knew what you meant, Dirty. <laughs> I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> Akira grabs Jessica, whips her into the turnbuckle's face first. Oh, with a clothesline, takes out both competitors. Akira is dominating so far. <laughs> Dirty one. <laughs> Oh, what a jab to the chin. Takes Jessica Wolf down. CJ is back up to purple base as Jessica reverses Akira. She grabs Akira, whips her over the top rope onto the apron. Oh, went to take her off the apron. Oh, and she does with that kick. CJ with the right. Akira's outside the ring. Now we have CJ and Jessica inside the ring. Akira's back up to vertical base, though. CJ takes Jessica down with the baseball drop kick to the knee. Now we got a pin, the ref counts to one. The ref, no, Jessica kicks out at one. Akira's now back in the ring, and she's like, I guess, pumping herself up there. Oh, and what an uppercut to CJ by Akira. Akira picks CJ up, puts her in the firewoman's carry. Oh, Samoan drop, takes her down. Jessica with the stomp. Oh, and then turns her attention on Akira with those quick jabs. Caught Akira by surprise. Oh, Akira, now we got a collar double tie between Jessica and Akira. Jessica pushes Akira out of the way. Goes for the drop kick. Akira sidesteps. Turns her attention on CJ. Taking CJ down. Man, why you gotta take the munchkin down? She was just standing in the corner letting you two go at it. Akira reverses Jessica. Jessica kicks her with a meal kick. And now we got a double team on Akira by CJ and Jessica. No, CJ went for the baseball drop kick and Jessica jumped and then did the uh-uh to her. Akira's back up to vertical base. Now, once again, we got a double team on CJ. Oh, and Akira's going for something. Jessica stopped her. Akira's pissed off about it. Man, why are they all picking, picking on the munchkin? She's little. Give her a break. <laughs> Akira whips CJ all the way over the top rope onto the concrete floor. Jessica follows closely behind. Jessica decides she's going to go back into the ring where Akira is. Akira grabs Jessica as she jumps in the ring, whips her into the ropes. Drops below her, jumps over her. Oh, and what a big boot takes Jessica down. And now Akira grabs Jessica's hand and smashes it on the mat. Goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. No, Jessica Wolf kicks out at one. Followed by a roundhouse, Akira answers back. Akira brings Jessica up to a vertical base. CJ's back in the ring. CJ turns her attention on Akira with a sister Abigail out of nowhere. Jessica with the clothesline to the back of the head on CJ. Jessica turns CJ over, goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref, no, CJ kicks out at one. These women are putting up hell of a fight right now. We still haven't had any eliminations yet. Oh, what a face must by Jessica on CJ. Akira goes after Jessica with that right jab. Grabs Jessica, whips her over the top rope all the way to the concrete floor, leaving her in the ring with the munchkin. Akira turns CJ around, goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And no, CJ kicks out at two. Oh, and Akira showing disrespect to shoves just or sorry, CJ back down into the mat. Extends the arm out and stomps right on the elbow. Oh, Jessica with the kick to the chest, ribcage area. Jessica grabs Akira, whips her over the top rope onto the apron. Oh, and once again, knocks her down with the kick. Leaving her in the ring with CJ. Jessica climbs out of the ring, decides she deci that CJ's back up, goes back in the ring. CJ with the super kick. Into the suplex. Akira goes into the ring. CJ's going to try to pin Jessica. The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And Jessica has been eliminated. We have two competitors left. We have Akira and CJ. Size advantage is obviously in Akira's favor. Oh, CJ with the reversal takes down the reverse neck breaker. And now CJ is lining Akira up for her finisher. Oh, Sister Abigail, that could be it for Akira. CJ goes for the pin. The ref's right there. The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And CJ with the upset. Let's take a look at the highlights. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match.
when any superstar, man or woman, is as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that <laughs> Dirty owes me 500 jokers. matches in recent <laughs> WWE history. No, actually, uh, CJ just pulled off the upset there. I was kind of surprised. I didn't expect her to win because everyone was, like, double-teaming on her. I mean, but it shows that anything can happen on Joker's invite. Even the smallest competitor can walk away from a massive upset like that. Here is your winner. And CJ eliminated both Jay competitors at that. Going to feel the effects of this win for a while. That was one of the most exciting triple threat matches I've seen in a long time. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember earlier in this show, we had a newcomer, Alex Watson, come out of nowhere and attack one of our competitors. Well, management took notice. They put her in a match. Her match is next. This is going to be very interesting. She this is, is in a four-woman four battle match. royale Nothing where it's Francine DeFixa against huh, Violet Knight, against Alex Watson, against Jordan Rose. Bets are live to place your bets. Exclamation bet space is zero for Francine, one for Violet, two for Alex, or three for Jordan. Five by Nurse Space, an amount you bet answers from one to a thousand jokers. And as always, to check your jokers, exclamation jokers. I do have to say, 2K has, they improved some of the loading screens, but when it comes to stuff like this, that loading screen just drags. Making her way down to the ring. She hails from Gary, Indiana. She is Francine DeFixa. From Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, you have about three minutes to place your bets. It sounds to me like this crowd is ready to get this battle royal underway. And so are these superstars, Michael. Each and every one of them have a golden opportunity to prove their dominance. Making her way down to the ring. She hails from Camden, New Jersey. She is from Camden, Violet New Jersey. Knight. Violet Knight. Guys, we have four of WWE's biggest names set to do battle here tonight. And Michael, I can realistically see any one of these four superstars winning this match which is what makes this match so unpredictable.
How y'all liking the arena for the new arena for Junkers Invite? Making her way down to the ring. She hails from Sydney, Australia. She put the roster on notice earlier today. She is Alex Watson. This is great, guys. This battle royal promises to be amazing. And let's not forget that simply going over the top rope is not enough to get eliminated. Both feet must touch the arena floor in order Thank for you your brought it to out. end. I changed it up from last season. Last season, it was a big arena. And I figured, well, this is a developmental brand. and don't need that big of an arena. So I knocked it down a size. Welcome, Zook3961, to Joke Jays Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. Making her way down to the ring, she hails from New Orleans, and Louisiana. Orleans, she Louisiana. is Jordan the Rose. Jordan Byron, as we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. That's where all the trouble goes down. This is a four-way over-the-top rope battle royale. Bell rings in the match is everywhere, and Alex takes it right away to Francine. Alex obviously has the side advantage here in this match. Thank you for that follow, Zuka. Much love. And Alex is going to try to eliminate Francine right off the bat as Jordan takes it to Violet in the bottom of your screen. Oh, Francine pops up. Oh, with her ground, takes Alex down. Jordan is still taking the Violet Violet response with a jab. Oh, and Francine with the power moonsaw. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't check see how tall she was. But here we do not discriminate. We are an equal employee opportunity. So we'll hire pretty much anyone. Allow me to take you back Francine to now turns seven, her attention on Violet, brings her down with her piranha. Alex grabs Jordan. No, she does not. She just stomps on Jordan's chest. Alex grabs Jordan, walks her over to uh, the ropes. Is she going to try to eliminate her? Ladies and gentlemen, Alex is trying to eliminate Jordan. Jordan goes over but hangs on to the bottom rope. And Jordan reverses with the forearm to the knee. Violet reverses Francine, the bottom left of the screen, puts Francine up against Turnbuckle's face first. Francine was going to turn her attention on Violet as Francine goes back to Jordan. Six eight, damn. That's almost Amazonian. Francine drops Jordan into the top turnbuckle, face first. Alex has control of Violet, walks her over to the turnbuckle, slams her face first, and now is going to try to eliminate Violet. It would be wise if all the competitors gained up against Alex since she is obviously the tallest competitor in this ring. And Violet fights out of it. Francine with the Huracarana on Jordan Blanchard, face first. 
Violet grabs Alex, puts her in the side headlock into the DDT. Now Francine turns her attention. Neckbreaker as both Alex and Jordan are trying to catch their composure. And Francine with the twerk into the moonsault. That's what makes her so dangerous. Francine brings Violet up to a vertical base. Grabs her with the knee to the gut, followed by a kick, followed by a knife and shot to another kick, and then the knee to face. Takes Violet down. Alex has turned her attention on to Jordan. She picks Jordan up and just slams down, showing her power. Just go for the finisher already. Francine's looking at Alex in disbelief, and Francine reverses Alex with some rights to the forehead. As Alex was trying to toss her over her. Alex, oh, with the German suplex on Francine. She might have internal bleeding after that. Francine is the smallest competitor in this match. Oh, Alex, just look at her, just taking it to Francine. Slaps her knife edge chops or something. Jordan is trying to eliminate Violet. Now Francine grabs Alex, has control for her, puts her up against the ropes. Will Francine eliminate Alex? Oh my God, what an upset. We have two eliminations as Violet and Alex both were eliminated, which leaves Francine and Jordan left in this match. Oh, and Francine with the kick to the face, knocks Jordan down. I cannot believe it. Alex was eliminated single-handedly by Francine. The biggest competitor was eliminated by the smallest competitor, single-handedly. Wow, what an upset there. But it just shows that no matter the size, it's the fight in the person that determines how well that they perform. Jordan picks Francine up, puts her on her shoulders, brings her over to the ropes, trying to eliminate her. Francine is fighting. Oh, and Francine finally gets out of it with the forearm to the upper back of Jordan. Oh, what a kick inside the face by Francine on Jordan. She grabs Jordan into the reverse neck breaker. No, Jordan reverses. Delayed suplex takes her down. And now Jordan is lining Francine up. Each of these competitors is looking for this. Oh, what a kick to the knee by Jordan on Francine. Oh, with a clothesline that eliminates Francine, and Jordan is your winner. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Let's take a look at the highlights of this one. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner, the Queen, Jordan Rose. And there's the last one standing. What a match. To be the last one standing after such a grueling encounter is beyond amazing, Michael. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember correctly, a cane earlier in the show called out management. The management responded and is putting him in a Hell in a Cell match. But not only is it Hell in a Cell match, it's a two out of three falls Hell in a Cell match. And it's against a competitor of their choosing. We will find out next who that competitor is. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next. We have Management the has ha single-handedly picked Taking Havik Adams to face a cane. Havik is making his debut. He is brand new to this stream in this show. Will a cane maintain being United States champion or did his mouth got him in the wrong and because of that he will lose his title? We will find out. Bets are alive in the place your bet exclamation bet space zero for Havoc, one for a cane, followed by another space and mountain you bangers from one to a thousand jokers. And remember, check your jokers as exclamation jokers.
That is true, brother. Now, he did call out the Joker's Invite champion, Otimo. So chances are, I mean, if he lose, he might go after a the different title. The contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And it's for the United States Championship. Making his way down to the ring. He hails from New York. He is Havoc Adam. Look at this beast of a man. A cane has a tall order in place. As we prepare to get started here, just take a look at the size of this gigantic. We should recognize just how courageous these superstars are to even compete in such a demonic match. Havoc Adams used to be a mixed martial artist. So will that come to factor during this match? Making his way down to the ring. He hails from the other side of darkness. He is the Joker's United States Champion. He is a king. You have about less than three minutes to place your bets. Dirty one going all in on Havoc. Dirty one's like, I'm not crossing management. Lord knows what they'll put me in. <laughs> Brought it going with a cane. Big time singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to I'm be in I'm actually going to tonight, bet on I this. I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. I think a Kane's going to pull it off, in my opinion. I think he's going to pull it off. I really do. He's a tough competitor. He has proved himself time in and time out. Dirty little hamster, who are you going for? You have 30 seconds to place your bet. Dirty little hamster is very familiar with two out of three falls, Hell in a Cell matches. At season one, he was in a tough rivalry with, uh, with Josh Kane and they fought countless Hell in a Cell matches. It, it was very ballsy. Brought it. Very ballsy. They're competing for that title right there. Introducing the challenger from New York. Weighing in at 200. It's a big fight feel in the arena tonight. The hard Making his way to the ring from the other side of darkness, weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the United States Champion, the Grim Reaper Akane. It's 
Stay tuned. Could that be the last time he holds that title? Or will he be able to hold it at the end of this match? He's got a tall order and stack of him today. Management does not take kindly to being called out. As Bell rings in the match is underway in this two out of three Hell in a Cell match. Havoc takes a cane down right away. Oh, and with the neck breaker, takes him down all the way to the mat. Havoc bends his arm back and stomps on a cane. Goes for the quick pin. The ref counts to one. No, Kane kicks out at one. Big fight feel in this atmosphere. Who will walk away the U.S. champion? Will Kane keep his title or calling out match be his last resort as Havoc takes it from him? We will find out. A Kane went to go do something and Havoc just power bombed him. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Havoc brings a Kane up to a vertical base, kicks him in the knee, just a little short kick. Oh, and a Kane with the front flip. Her Karana takes Havoc down. I said there's a lot of fight in that man, a Kane. He proved himself time in and time out so far. A Kane whips Havoc into the ropes, takes him down with the arm drag. Puts him in the side headlock, hooks the arm. Oh, what a DDT takes Havoc down. Followed by a kick to the chest. Kane waits for Havoc to get up and then follows a form. Havoc picks him up, slams him face first into the mat. Like you were saying, Michael, when news breaks, and then jumps up and sits on him. Is he going for the pin? No, he does not. That is a form of teabag, ladies and gentlemen. And he does it again just showing disrespect to the game. That's how big this match is. And once again. Oh, what a massive roundhouse. And a Kane's chest is beat red from that. Havoc is stomping on the legs of a Kane. Looks like he's going for the submission. Will a Kane tap out? Is he done? Guys, a lawsuit for the champion would be. No, a Kane is powering out of it. Gets out of it, takes him out by the legs. To me, like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh, with the famous there, drops Havoc down to the mat. And then drops the knee across the back of the neck and does it again for good measure. Why not a third time? And then stomps on the same head. He is really targeting that head. Kane sets Havoc up, picks him up by his neck, and drops him on the back of his neck. Kane brings Havoc up to a vertical base. Has control of the wrist. Oh, eat the feet to the face of Havoc by Kane. Kane's going for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref counts. No, Havoc kicks out at one. How in the world? A Kane brings Havoc back up to a vertical base. Oh, went for the, the kick, but missed as Havoc sidestepped him. Havoc tosses him onto the apron and then brings him back in the hard way. Havoc drops the elbow across the shoulder of a cane. Brings the cane up to a vertical base, scoops him up. Showing his squat like abilities. And then power slams him down to the mat. And a cane's ankles hit the bottom rope. Havoc is lining a cane up for his finisher. He might have it. Gut wrench. Oh, face buster. What a move. Havoc goes for the quick pin. We got a one. We got a two. And Havoc gets the first fall of this two out of three falls match. And Havoc continues the assault on a Kane. A Kane is now definitely fighting a tall order as he is down one zip. But a Kane answers back with a power bomb of his own. Shows Havoc he has power as well. He brings Havoc up to a vertical base. Big move oh, Havoc with the kicks to the gut, legs, and then an elbow to the face takes him down. And now Havoc is playing to the crowd. Went for the I'm stomp, but a cane rode out of the way just in time. Next. Havoc picks him up, slams him face first into the mat. 
Welcome, Resolute Object 1, to Joke Jay's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. Have it going for the second pin. No, Kane kicks out at two. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. I wonder if a Kane is regretting calling out management earlier in today's show. Havoc rolls a Kane O'Brien to his back. Goes for the pin again. The ref is out of position. The ref counts a one. The ref counts a no. Havoc kicks out at or Kane kicks out at one. Havoc is a bit of a Jamal 2K18 wannabe. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, what an uppercut by Kane on Havoc. Havoc whips a Kane over the top rope all the way to the concrete floor. The only thing that kept him inside was that steel cage, that hell in a cell. Havoc goes out and nothing good comes of this when you're outside the ring in a hell in a cell match. Havoc brings a Kane up, tosses him back in the ring. Brought it out, says a Kane don't regret anything. In the ring, guys. If he's smart, he finds a way Havoc stomps on the lower back of a Kane. Remember, Havoc is up one fall, two to zero. This is for the U.S. title. Havoc goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And oh, a Kane managed to just get the shoulder up. We're seeing here. And Havoc is arguing with the ref. Havoc brings a Kane up. A Kane reverses with the shoulder tackle, and takes Havoc down. And now a Kane's lighting Havoc up for his finisher. Oh, what a kick! And that could be it for Havoc. Havoc may be knocked unconscious. A Kane goes for the pin. Will he tie it up? The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And a Kane ties it up. Next fall is the winner. And a Kane stays on the attack with a kick to the hip. Havoc grabs a Kane, puts him between his legs, picks him up, gut wrench. Shoulder buster. Havoc likes playing to the crowd a little too much. That could be his downfall in this match. Havoc brings a cane up to vertical base, kicks him in the stomach, grabs him, whips him into the ropes. Oh, and then takes him down once again for another kick and another kick. And Kane's trying to fight back. Havoc is not having it with the swing and that breaker. And Kane is down. Havoc brings a cane back up to a vertical base. He's looking at it. Oh, once again, kicks him in the stomach and then into the face. That could be it. Into the crowd, not going for the pin. Havoc finally goes for the pin. The ref counts to one. The ref counts to two. And Havoc is your new United States champion. got a new champion. What a match between these two. Take nothing away from McCain, though. He put up a hell of a fight. He was down 1-0, came back, tied it up. But Havoc just got the upper hand. Hope and Dirty One, the only one that bet it on Havoc. That was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Makes you wonder, does a Kane now regret calling out management? That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good... There's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere, because after this, we have the JJI Broadcast Champion, Dirty One, will be defending against whoever is in chat at the time of that match, whose call I have. Havoc, his first champion. night, takes the champion away the from a king. What an amazing match, and a huge victory. Nicely done. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home. Oh, and Havoc right away calling the next match. competitor. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in store for our final match of this broadcast. It is the Joker Jays Innovations Broadcast Championship as the champion, Dirty One, will face whoever's call I have that's in chat right now. If you're in chat and I have your call, raise your hand now. All right, I have brought it out, and the champion, Dirty One. Dirty Little Hamster, are you still in chat? If so, now's the time to raise your hand to compete for the JJI Broadcast Championship, or else we're going to have a 1v1.
Page and Dirty Low Hamster. The fix, I don't think the fix was actually in chat. If he was, he didn't say anything. Dirty Little Hamster, are you in? Are you here? Paige and Dirty Little Hamster. If not, we are going to do a 1v1. Going once. Going twice. Going two and a half times. Dirty Little Hamster, final call. He's scared. Ooh, ooh, Dirty Little Hamster, if you're listening to chat right now or seeing chat, Dirty One just said you're scared. You better respond if you want to fight him for that title. And Dirty Little Hamster does not respond. Dirty One responds that you don't want none of this. Dirty Little Hamster, you, you better respond quick. Or it's going to follow you for the remainder of today. All right, Dirty Little Hamster is not responding. With that being said, we will have a 1v1 for the Joker J Innovations Broadcast Champion. Now, here's the rules and stipulations. The rules is, Dirty One, you get to pick the stipulations for the match. We have a normal. We have false count anywhere. Backstage brawl. Extreme rules. Actually, no, we're not going to do a backstage brawls. Extreme rules, ladder, table, TLC, hell in a cell, steel cage, Iron Man, last man standing, no holds bar submission, as well as some custom matches such as a two out of three falls count anywhere, hell in a cell, 30 minute Iron Man, steel cage, two out of three falls, 1v1 extreme falls count anywhere, two out of three falls count anywhere, submission, man, that's going to be a long match. All right. Dirty One has said he wants a submission match for. Now, we've been having issues with the broadcast champion. Every time we go to do a entrance for this match, we always have problems with entrances. Hopefully, we don't today. Let, we're going to try it, though. All right, so we have a Kane who just lost his U.S. championship going against... Dirty one for the JJI Broadcast Championship. Which attire, Dirty one? One or two? One. All right. Let me get these bets locked in real quick. All right. Bets are live. The place your best place your bet space zero for a cane, one for dirty one. There in our space, amount you bet anywhere from one to ten thousand jokers because this is a championship match. Dirty one going all in. I'm going to get in on this. I'm going over Kane. I think he's out for revenge now after losing that title. This is a submission match. Brought it out. If you're going to bet, you have less than four minutes to place your bet. I may. But hey, that's part of gambling, ain't it?
While this is loading, I'm going to go get me a bottle of water. I will be back. I am back, and we're still stuck on the loading screen. It's not frozen, though. Always happens with this broadcast championship. I don't know why. Welcome back, Resolute Object 1. The anticipation is almost too much. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to restart the game. So the broadcast will be paused as I restart the game. Don't go anywhere, though. We will be back. And we are back. Your bets are still locked in. You don't have to worry about rebetting. Betting has stopped. We have two for a cane and one for the dirty one. And we're going to go ahead and shut entrances off just to be on the safe side. So as soon as the screen loads, the match will be underway. Yeah, I noticed that too. Always with this championship, we have um, issues when it comes to loading. Yes, I did put submission.
Typically, it happens after the match, though, not before the match even gets underway. Typically. I agree, Dirty One. Ever since that last update, I guess, is when all the issues started happening. But see, the thing is, I didn't have issues with it at first until my first day of streaming. Then I had all kinds of issues with it. As you can tell, we're stuck in the same spot on the loading screen as we were last time. And this is with entrances off, so I don't know. At least I think I took entrances off. Will we ever get to this match? <laughs> that is the question. I have no idea what we're going to do now. I said it's not frozen. You can tell I'm still changing the RB tab. Because typically when this happens, it's frozen. But this it isn't frozen. It's just it's stuck on the loading screen. I apologize for those of you that are tuned in. We are experiencing technical issues, it seems. Well, the first time, I didn't change the arena, and it did this. So, I mean, I guess I could make this a non-title match, and then the winner will be declared the title, or the champion. I guess I could do it that way. That might work. I would have to restart the game, though. Is that okay with you, uh, Dirty One? If I restart the game and do it as a non-title match, however, whoever wins will be the champion. All right, let's do that. Bear with me as the game or as the broadcast will be paused.
And we're back. I do have to say, though, that Mixer has improved. Typically, last season, I used my stream used to cut out in the middle of matches. I just wish 2K would fit. Two, well, what it is is 2K really don't care about WWE. And you really think the businessman that Vince McMahon is, he would choose a different developer for the game. For some reason, he does not. I don't know why. I mean, he must be getting a hell of a deal with 2K. All right, so this is a title match. However... Um, I have to make a non-title match in hopes that it'll fix the loading screen issue. And I agree. I mean, THQ did great with the small rosters. Imagine what they can do with a huge roster. I mean, I really do myself mix TH miss THQ as well. All right, we're going to try this again. I hope. <laughs> All right, this is okay. This is where we got stuck at last time in this spot right here. What the hell? We're still stuck in the same spot. What is up, Glitchy? We are kind of stuck on a loading screen right now. We've tried it three times. This is the third time. I've restarted it three times now, Glitchy. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker Zim, if you have not followed Glitchy Relic, make sure you give him a follow. Yeah, Glitchy, I've restarted it three times. I've even changed this from... Uh, title match to a non-title match and hopes that would help get us past this part right here that we're stuck again
Well, it's being streamed right now, so. And I upload it to YouTube. Let me see something. I wonder if I can do it this way. Give me a moment. No, it won't let me. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to post a poll. This is up to you. You decide. Pose live. You got three minutes. Or what we can do is we can try to change the match type submission to maybe something else. I don't know because I haven't done any submission matches, so I don't know if... what. <laughs> Remember, it's should I call it a day pretty much and and not have a JJI broadcast. If you do not want to have a JJI broadcast, you want to vote yes. If you do want to have a JJI broadcast match, then vote no. It is an expedition mode, Glitchy. We're out of the universe. This is the only title that stays out of the universe. Yeah, because you remember from 2K18, if you had a title that was not involved in your universe, but you defended in your universe, it caused your universe to crash. So when I found that out, I always keep the broadcast championship out of the universe. So this is a straight expedition match. All right, we're going to try it one more time. I'm going to pause the stream, restart the game, and see if we can get it going. We might have to choose a different match type, though. So, Dirty One, be thinking of a new match type. That seems to be the go-to for this match is Extreme Rules. If you look back at the other VODs, every time this is defended, it's defended in some type of Extreme Rules match. <laughs> I might just make an Extreme Rules only belt. <laughs>
I'm still going to make this. I'm still not going to put the title uh, in it, and then we'll see what happens. Of course, whoever wins will be the new champion. So we'll see. This time we're going to try Extreme Rules. If that don't work, then I think we're probably going to have to call it a day, and we'll have to figure something out. We might have two broadcast championships tomorrow or next time I stream. Dirty one, you caused my game to glitch. After you won the title, it does not want you to defend it. <laughs> I blame you, dirty one. I blame you. Typically, it will get through the loading screen. You'll get to the match, and then at the end of the match it is when it typically sticks. But this time, it seems to be sticking before the match even takes place. Because we have been trying to get this match going for about 15 minutes now. I said if it sticks again, we're just going to call it. I know, Brada, that's not what you want. You want to take that title because you've competed in just about every single broadcast championship match there has been. So I know you want that title, but I may have to call it. Well, that's up to Dirty One. If you guys decide to do that, I'll go ahead and restart the game again. But it'll be the last time I do it. You don't mind? All right. We're going to have this broadcast championship done. So restart the game. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. All right, you two decide which characters you want as the screen is loading, as the game's loading, and then I will put it and we'll let you pick the match. Uh, Dirty One, you'll still get to pick the match, um, and then each of you will pick a character, and then we'll go from there. Now, whoever wins that will be the uh, new broadcast championship. However, it will be your custom character who is it, not the character you pick. All right, dirty one. What kind of match? Submission again? All right. And I'm not going to change the arena. We'll just leave it. All right. What is your character brought it? Brought it. All 
What arena would you like that's not a custom? You can do others or main arenas. Dirty one. All right, well then, brought it. What kind of arena? Anything but custom arenas. You have others or the actual WWE arenas. All right, which WrestleMania? You have 30, 33, and 34. 34. All right, he is picking Kurt Angle. Is Kurt Angle even on? Oh, I'm under the wrong thing. That's why. <laughs> Which Kurt Angle? 01 or 06? Oh six. All right, your turn, dirty one. You'll take the other Kurt, man. You're gonna make this confusing for me. <laughs> we have a Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Is that what you want, dirty one? All right. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so let me write this down so I know who picked who. <laughs> All right, we got Kurt Angle 06, which has brought it. And Kurt Angle... Oh one, right? Oh one, yeah. Which is dirty. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. All right. So we have a very interesting JJR broadcast championship. If this loads, we have. Brought it out's pick of Kurt Angle 06 versus Dirty One's pick of Kurt Angle 01 at WrestleMania 34 in a one on one submission match. The winner of this, their custom superstar, either a Kane or Dirty One, will be crowned the new JJ or will be crowned the JJI Broadcast Championship. Oh my god, this is going to drive me bonkers. <laughs> Your bets are still locked in, so. <laughs> now, there is nothing custom on here. It's all WWE crap, so if it still freezes, it's the game and not the created superstars. Oh, and of course, it's not going to freeze now. Oh, man, I'm going to try to remember this. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Making his way down to the ring. He is brought at Owl's pick. He is Look Kurt Angle 2006. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. He's this back. is for the JJI Broadcast Championship. Whoever wins this, their creative superstar will be crowned the JJI Broadcast Champion. Will Dirty One keep the title or will Brought It Out take it? <laughs> Power budget is low. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Multi-time world champion. 
champion. One of the absolute best to ever do it. Making his way down to the ring. He is Dirty One's pick. He is Kurt Angle 2001 edition. This is sponsored by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Bell rings in, the match is underway, and Kurt Angle kicks the boot in the gut of Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle responds with an elbow, takes him down with the slam. Kurt Angle brings the other Kurt Angle up to a vertical base, grabs him by the leg, drag a leg screw takedown. Kurt Angle brings up Kurt Angle to a vertical base. Oops. In that locker, drops below him, jumps over him, manager. Anyway, you and then with the suplex with takes the him down. With a broken <laughs> I know, it is very confusing. I could do ball headed Kurt and haired Kurt, but that would just make him very more ridiculous. Kurt Angle with the snap mare. Followed by the baseball drop kick to the upper head. And a stomp to the upper back. Kurt Angle going for a key hold. Has it wrenched in. He's on the defensive here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. I guarantee you that the post Kurt Angle is keeping that locked in. The other Kurt Angle cannot seem to get out of it. Finally, he's starting to fight out of it. Oh, with a punch straight to the gut. Kurt Angle picks Kurt Angle off to Fireman's Carry. Takes him to the ropes, hang him up on the top rope. Grabs the leg, drops on it, trying to work that leg so he can lock in that ankle lock. Ball by a stomp to the wrist. Kurt Angle going for a submission hold. Will Kurt Angle tap? No, Kurt Angle fights out of it. It makes my commentary easy, though. <laughs> Kurt Angle takes Kurt Angle, slams him face first into the turnbuckles. Whips him into the opposite turnbuckles. Ref is down with a shoulder tackle into the gut. Picks him up with the suplex. Kurt Angle now has the scissor leg lock around the waist. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that Kurt Angle fights out with some elbows to the side of the head. It was WrestleMania 13. Brett the Hitman Hart was in a heated rivalry with a Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle. It's over top of all the way down to the concrete floor. This is a submission this match. match. Like no other submission match with the two superstars and what a roundhouse to the upper back. Followed by some a barrage of rights to the face, and then he sends his face down to the concrete floor. Byron, you mentioned this. Back into the ring, slides in quickly behind him, brings him up to a vertical base, puts him in a side headlock, takes him down, going for the, oh, he's going for the, Kurt Angle fights out of a big old boot to the face, Kurt Angle responds with a stomp to the arm, now going with the roll around, Showing his amateur wrestling ability that he has. That's how he won a gold medal. Kurt Angle locks the other Kurt Angle's arm and then rips it almost out of socket. Kurt Angle follows up with a stomp to the wrist into another submission. The ref is right there. Will Kurt Angle tap? No, Kurt Angle fights out of it. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, puts him in the side headlock, grab control of the wrist. Into the sleeper hold. He's oh, and he has it locked in. 
Will Kurt Angle tap as Kurt Angle is wrenching back on that neck? You guys are seeing Angle in a tough situation. No, this Kurt is Angle is fighting out of it once again with the head, but he gets out of it. His way free. Kurt Angle with the kick to the rib cage. Watch this here. Kurt Angle rolls out of the ring wisely to catch his composure. Kurt Angle comes out of the ring with him. Kurt Angle's right there to respond with the Russian Lakes who takes him down. Kurt Angle brings Kurt Angle up to a vertical base. He wants no Whips him back inside. into the ring. <laughs> it is. Oh, Followed by a stomp. Kurt Angle with the massive forearm knocks Kurt Angle back. However, he didn't get all this. Kurt Angle responds with the suplex. Belly belly suplex. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, drags him to the middle ring. Is he going to try to lock in his ankle lock here? Is it there with a ban against the nature boy Ric Flair? Being no, he follows him roundhouse to the upper back. Charlotte would lose the match and Once again, drags him to the middle of the ring. This could be it. He's lining up to set it up. No, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle with the arm drag takes him down. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, throws him down to the mat. Oh, drop toe hole takes Kurt Angle down. Kurt Angle picks Kurt Angle up, puts him on his shoulder, hangs him up on the top rope. Kurt Angle falls to the mat. Kurt Angle is trying to catch his breath as you see he is gassed. Kurt Angle with the forearm to the up back did not affect Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle gets right back up. However, Kurt Angle responds with the suplex. Oh my God, what a suplex. Kurt Angle brings Kurt Angle up to a vertical base. Once again, goes for the three suplexes. And he connects. Pickle MTC, thank you for tuning in, Joker's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. We have had some issues with our custom superstars, so each superstar or each viewer picked their own character to face in a submission match for the JJI Broadcast Championship. So here we are, Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 34. In a submission match at that. Kurt Angle locks in another submission. Look at that arm bar with the scissor headlock. Has the arm in headlock in place. Will Kurt Angle tap? I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been any great No, Kurt Angle fights out of it. He rolls out of it. Kurt Angle stomps on the back of the knee, trying to set up for that ankle lock. Kurt Angle responds with a massive punch to the back. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, whips him over the top rope, all the way down to the concrete floor. Kurt Angle's feeling himself. Call it a representative match or something. <laughs> right? You know what? We might, we might have to do that. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, lifts him back into the rings. We'll see how the next stream goes. Hopefully by the time I stream, because I won't stream again until next week. Hopefully by the time the next stream goes, they have fixed it. I might stream this weekend. I don't think I'll be streaming 2K WWE. If I do stream anything else, it'll be one of my other games. Um, it won't be 2K, though. Welcome, Platinum Wave, Joker's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. This is a representative match uh, where Kurt Angle is facing Kurt Angle for the JJ Broadcast Championship because we were having issues with the viewer picked their own superstar and here we are Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle submission match at WrestleMania 34. Kurt Angle has it locked in. Will Kurt Angle tap? No, Kurt Angle once again fights out of it with an elbow to the face. Neither Kurt Angle has locked in any of their signatures or finishers. So we are still in a pretty much dead weight. Kurt Angle with the punches to the gut of Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle picks Kurt Angle up into the leg, single leg uh, hook suplex. Kurt Angle drags Kurt Angle away from the ropes. Walks over to the legs. Turns around as he go lock in the ankle lock. Kurt Angle has the ankle lock locked in. Will Kurt Angle tap? If anyone knows, oh, he has it really locked in. If anyone knows how to get out of an ankle lock, it is Kurt Angle. Will Kurt Angle tap? Bodies are not supposed to bend that way. Kurt Angle is fighting. He does not want to tap. Kurt Angle releases the hole, realizing Kurt Angle is not going to tap. 
Verde with the stomp to the chest into another submission. The ref's right there asking Kurt Angle wants to tap. Kurt Angle fights out of it. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle. Once again. Oh, went for the suplex. Kurt Angle reverses with the headbutt. Went for the forearm. Kurt Angle reverses by swatting him out of the sky. Face first onto the mat. Kurt Angle brings him out to the middle of the ring. What is Kurt Angle thinking? He had a chance to lock an ankle lock. He did not. As Kurt Angle responds to the forearm. Takes him down by the leg. Kurt Angle reverses out of that. Kurt Angle with the right misses. The other Kurt Angle responds with right of his own. We are at a stalemate between these two. Kurt Angle with Kurt Angle over the top rope, all the way down to the concrete floor once again. Kurt Angle with a stomp to the knee. Brings Kurt Angle up to a vertical base. He got him good oh, what an uppercut. Takes him down. Kurt Angle brings Kurt Angle back up to a vertical base. He wants no part of Tosses him back into the ring, knowing he cannot win unless he's inside that ring. Kurt Angle going to try to rip that arm out of socket. Kurt Angle reverses. Kurt Angle grabs Kurt Angle, puts him in a side headlock, picks him up, and tosses him over his shoulder onto the mat. And now Kurt Angle is feeling himself, playing to the crowd as the other Kurt Angle is trying to get to the ropes to get back up to a vertical base. Oh, and Kurt Angle responds with a clothesline, taking Kurt Angle out once again. Welcome, Lumbax King, to Joker's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. We are in our last match of the stream. This is a representative match as we were having issues with the custom superstars because, you know, 2K and them bugs. So that being said, each of the viewers pick their uh, respective person that they want to represent them. And here we are for Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle, WrestleMania 34 submission style match to crown a new JJI broadcast champion or a to keep a JJI broadcast champion. I can't say a new one. Kurt Angle has a submission locked in. Interesting decision here, Corey. And Kurt Angle releases it. He clearly wants to inflict Kurt Angle has control of the neck and the head once again. And is wrenching on it as he drops him down to the mat. Followed by a stomp to the knee. This match could go on all night, ladies and gentlemen. These two competitors know each other so well. <laughs> Kurt Angle with another submission lock in. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. It's like they're one and the same person. They know each other that well. <laughs> Kurt Angle once again with the submission. I said it's like they're one and the same person. <laughs> oh my God, we got to have fun here on Dragon Day Innovations. Can't always be serious. Welcome, Dark Knight 2020, Joker Day's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. This is a representative match. Because we are having issues with our... Oh, Kurt Angle is dropping the shoulders. This could be it. We're having issues with our custom superstars. So each viewer picked their own superstar to represent. And then now we got Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle in a submission style match at WrestleMania 34. And Kurt Angle has it locked in. This is determine who will be the JJI broadcast champion. And Kurt Angle taps. Kurt Angle beats Kurt Angle in a submission style match. It's in. What a match, ladies and That's gentlemen. The submission match I would pay to see, and they're the ones paying me. <laughs> right? I can watch highlights <laughs> of that one. Oh, my God. Yeah. What a match. So now we have a new Joker J watch. Innovations broadcast champion, as it is a game. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. What a stream we had today. Oh, my Here's God. It, 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 I don't know. We got to have fun sometimes. We just got to have fun.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle beats Kurt Angle. So, brought it out as respective uh, representative Kurt Angle 06 won the title for a chain. All right, with that being said, let me go ahead and get that title transferred over. Don't mind these. These were when I was trying to crown the champions. Um... So with that being said, let me go ahead and vacate these titles real quick. Because this is when I was trying to crown the champions for the uh, universe. All right. A Kane is your new Joker J Innovations broadcast champion. <laughs> that should be a match type you could choose from now on. That was great. Uh, it, possibly. I mean, it, I'll still try to do, because it, it, you got to look at it this way. Um, you know, the viewers, when they tune in, they want to see their call wrestle. Um, so I'm hoping 2K fixes that crap so they can actually view their calls wrestle uh, when it comes to that broadcast champion instead of having a representative. That was a great match. That was actually pretty fun. I agree. That was a representative match, so that was actually pretty fun, and I do agree with that. Um, however, <laughs> hopefully we don't have to do that again. Um, this will make for an interesting. What is up, Fixa? Thank you for tuning in. Fixa, you just missed it. We were having issues with our cause. So with that being said, we had to do an, a representative match. So the two competitors that were competing for the Joker which was brought it out and uh dirty one picked a representative to the you know represent them so we had Kurt Angle 06 versus Kurt Angle 01 and a submission style match at WrestleMania 34 the winner was Kurt Angle 06 which means o a Kane is now the new JJI broadcast championship or broadcast champion hopefully we don't have that issue again i'm hoping we don't but, you know, you never know. So, why did that not work? There we go. I mistyped. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker's Den, if you have not followed the Fixa official, make sure you give him a follow by clicking that link. He puts on a hell of a fed. As a matter of fact, he did a, a show yesterday that on VOD. Um, that was actually a really good show. He had close to like 300 plus viewers tuned in. Um, it was really good. Um, I got to watch bits and pieces of it because I was doing some housework so I didn't get to see the whole thing. Um, but yeah, make sure you give him a follow. Um, so anyways, 307. Awesome. Um, so with that being said, uh, that was actually our last match of the stream. You tuned in a little late, Fixa, unfortunately. Um, my next stream... Um, I might do a stream tomorrow. However, it won't be 2K19. It'll be one of my other games. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, and it'll be for a few hours as well. Um, but don't forget, I have my 24-hour stream-a-thon the first weekend of December to raise funds for the Children's Hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas. So make sure you tune in for that. Mark your calendars. It'll start the first Saturday in December, which let me check the calendar. I believe that is December 2nd, but let me check real quick. Um... No, December 1st. So December 1st at 8 a.m. going all the way to December 2nd at 8 a.m. will be a 24-hour streamathon. That's Central Time. 24-hour streamathon to raise funds for the Children's Miracle Network. Um, I do have um, a poll. Well, I did have a poll live on my Twitter um, asking if I should just do all 2K19 or if I should mix it up. And so far, everyone that has voted has voted I do 24 hours straight of 2K19, which means... My voice is going to be very crackled by the time that 24-hour stream is done. <laughs> Just saying. Um, with that being said, I also will have my camera on, and I will be wearing some merch that you can purchase at my merch store, um, as well as some merch from Sponsor Me. 
So, and if you like to check out some of the merch, just click that link. Um, and, of course, any purchases goes to the Children's Miracle Network. Um, so, with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the new follows. Thank you for the new hosts. Um, I appreciate you all. Um, like I said, if I stream again, it will be later on today or tomorrow. Um, it will not be 2K19, though. It will probably be something completely different. Um, if I do do WWE 2K19, it will be either my career mode or my player mode, or it will be the 2K Towers, um, since I've kind of started getting into those. Um, if I don't, it will be one of the older Call of Duties. And when I say older, I mean older as in, I can tell you right now, older as in uh, Infinity Warfare and Advanced Warfare. <laughs> that's how that's how far behind I am on Call of Duty. Or it will be one of the games from Game Pass or from EA. I haven't decided yet. Um, if I do decide to stream again later on today, um, if not, I will stream. T uh, I will probably have a stream tomorrow, but it will not be 2K19. It will be something completely different. Um, so once again, as I do at the end of all my streams, I post this quote. This quote says, live life to the fullest for you never know when it will be your last day. And that is a quote I truly hope you guys take home and, you know, really take to heart um, because life is short. You never do know when it will be your last day. Um, now, and I want you to live life to the fullest, um, stress-free. Try as much. I use my stream as a way to get away from the real life stress that comes with, you know, bills, school, family, friends, husbands, wives, kids, grandparents, you know, jobs, whatever. Um, my stream is just, you know, even if it is just a couple hours, it's for you to kind of get away from that and have a little fun. And I mean, we had fun today with freaking Kurt Angle versus Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle won with a freaking broken neck, <laughs> you know. Um, but with that being said, uh, once again, you know, do live life to the fullest legally um not illegally make sure you're living life to the fullest legally um i do not want to be responsible or held as an acquaintance because you did something dumb <laughs> so with that being said um once again this will be uploaded to youtube if you are part of my discord um i will post a link on there when it is fully uploaded to youtube if not just join my discord that way Click on that link, join the Discord, join in on the fun. Also, I do have a Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Joker underscore J87. Um, I also post a link on there as well. Um, and if you are kind of curious as to as far as what Treasure Miracle Network does or Extra Life in general, because that's what I raise funds for, um, you can click that link uh, and donate if you would like. Or you can donate this way or even donate this way. Um, I have several ways for you to donate. All funds go to the Children's Miracle Network, benefiting the Children's Hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, so with that being said, thank you all once again for the follows. Thank you all once again for the hosts. Um, we have a new JJI broadcast champion. We have a new Jokers United States champion. And the results will be posted in Discord as well as on Twitter um, once I get them typed in. Um, so until next time, peace.